The three-day business forum sought to strengthen and enhance open trade and mutual investment. Many issues and suggestions were raised by the delegates from both countries and all were focused on ironing out a series of challenges. This is why we are arguing the government of South Sudan, other than complete and total denials. Let them put investigative um, people in the meetings such as they happen even here. If one raises a hand and talks about an, uh, something, let them politely follow for positive reference. So now we have come to see that we sign up certain papers in agreement of ironing out those bottlenecks, the insecurities, mistrust, quality of things that we supply, uh, clear marketing and clear buy and sell. Ugandan entrepreneurs and representatives of various organizations and the host consulate are optimistic that the discussions and resolutions passed at the meeting will open up a new and successful chapter. If you want to do business, do genuine business. So we are saying there should be a lot of uh, collaboration between the UNBS of, uh, of Uganda and South Sudan uh, National Bureau of Standards so that uh, in terms of the standards and also the revenue authorities to be very strict on the certificate of origin. Most of the Ugandans who came here to do business are venturers and technocrat people like engineers and or something like that. But businessmen, people as I saw, I see here. But for Dr. Julian Adiri Omala, whose business valued at about 3.5 billion Ugandan shillings that has told for five years in South Sudan, she wants her issues urgently and amicably resolved. Uh, I'm among the first pioneers in Uganda who came to Southern Sudan. I was the second landowner in Southern Sudan. I built a bakery and we are doing business wonderful business and transforming the women. It's unfortunate that a soldier from national security after the war 2016 came and took over my property. I've come back I want to claim back that property and second to do better business again. You know to us as entrepreneurs no matter how many times you fall in doubt but what matters can you raise up again. A successful and one of its kind initiatives hosted by South Sudan attests to the government of Uganda's steadfast desire to promote regional integration in order to harness the benefits. The three-day conference has wrapped up with a commitment from both parties to continue engaging in order to iron out the existing differences and foster the attainment of the intended goals. Dennis Igoa, in South Sudan capital, Juba.